quick demo of how parameters for pluggable databases are stored. We know that uh, parameters for uh, database instance are stored in the SP file. So if I connect to the instance, this is my SP file where all the instance level parameters are stored which means this is for the entire container. Now there are some parameters which can be changed at a pluggable database level. There's a lot of parameters which can be changed at the pluggable database level. So how do I find out what those parameter values are currently? I'm still at the root container so I can query a view data dictionary view or table actually which is called sp uh, pdb sp file dollar so it seems that for one pluggable database i have explicitly set analysis date format okay and that pdb actually is on rcl pdb1 and i'm going to set it to a different value So I have to use an auto system command to change. Normally auto system command would change at the instance level, but here I'm inside a PDB. So this auto system command would apply only to that PDB, that pluggable list database inside the container. Now this parameter in SD format requires scope is equal to SP file. It can be changed dynamically because it needs a restart. So then I'm going to go back to the root and stop and start the pluggable database. I'm still the root because I'm, st I'm only connected here at, as, at the instance level. So if I want to query the view of the data dictionary table, now you can see that there's for one pluggable, uh, pluggable database, my analysis date format has been explicitly set. So if I want to connect to that PDB, using the new analyst date format. I run the query again and I get the analyst date format being used for this date. If I go back to the root I still have the default format for this date at the root. I can also do this see it from here because it's actually internally stored go 
back to the root but how do I know which PDB this is of course I can s I can map and uh, from the reader PDB's view this is it DBID 4057974068 is OSTL PDB1 and appears in PDBSP file down the road. Let me just try another parameter. so this is, this is the default value for default segment creation true let me just query from the container So now I can see default segment creation also got, got set to false. Remember, I don't need to stop and start the pluggable database for this parameter because it's dynamic. It can be changed dynamically. And alter system comma, which normally is at instance level, has now operated at the pluggable database level just for that pluggable database. I'll just show you this again. Select. So here you can explicit query for this pluggable database. So if I were to connect to that, and create a dummy table, because deferred segment creation is false, I should get an immediate segment. And I, I, because I had set default segment creation to false at this PDB level, my create table immediately created a default 64k se segment. So this view, actually data dictionary table, stores the parameters which are at the pluggable database level for this PDB which will override the parameters for the instance the whole container so at this PDB level deferred segment creation is false but at the instance when I'm connected to the root container basically the root itself it is still true so at the root of the container it's still the default date format meaning this will apply to every other PDB but if I connect explicitly to my target PDB
the set value will override the default format.